Hey, what is going on YouTube? Mike here and welcome back to Team Viewer Why. Now I've been using the Google Pixel 6 as my main device ever since I got it in October. And for someone like me who works with a lot of YouTube content, it's been really helpful in the way that I manage my workflow. So today let's take a look at some really cool apps that help me stay productive. Now if you guys want to check out these apps, I will drop some links in the description below. With all that said, let's get started. Now first on this list, we have Spike. Spike comes both in app and web formats, and I think that it radically improves upon existing email services with great features that make the whole email experience a lot more streamlined and easier to use. It's developed to help you be more productive, and it's actually saved me a lot of time and helped me to declutter my workflow. Let me share how. Let's start with the user interface. Spike is designed in a way that lets you view your emails in chat format. I think that this massively improves the way that you can communicate with people compared to the older formats that we see on other email services. You can also set up group chats with multiple contacts for collaborative opportunities, and these also appear in chat form. If you send an email to someone who isn't using Spike, they'll be able to view the message as a regular email, while you can still view it in chat form. You'll be able to know when they read it thanks to read receipts, and you can also add a custom signature to your emails. Spike also does a great job of sorting your spam mail from the ones you really need to get to. It intelligently creates a priority inbox that sorts all your unsolicited and unwanted mail into a separate inbox, keeping my main feed clean with less distractions. The priority inbox also features people mode that organizes my messages based on people and keeps the conversation in a single thread. This saves me precious time when replying to contacts in the middle of a busy workday. For example, if I get back from a long vacation or weekend, I don't have to scramble looking for important messages because they're always at the top of my inbox. If I do need to search for very specific emails, Spike's super search allows me to accurately pinpoint certain conversations and I can even search for file attachments which instantly appear with previews. The search feature has saved me a lot of time and for someone who receives a lot of emails every day, this really helps me reduce the clutter. For example, I can easily search for an email containing a specific image file from several months back with no trouble at all. Another way that Spike has streamlined the entire email and messaging process for me is with its file attachment system. Like I said earlier, the app does a great job of simplifying the entire email process. For example, if I want to send an image to a client, I can simply take a picture on my phone and it quickly gets uploaded to the message thread. I can attach other file types as well with a simple tap on my phone screen. If you want to maximize your productivity, Spike integrates notes right into your inbox. And you can create tables, to-do lists, or even organize notes to work on, for example. Spike notes are dynamic and you can edit them to add image and video files, all from the comfort of your own inbox. You can add family members or business contacts to your notes so you can work, share ideas, or collaborate with them on tasks and assignments, all in real time. If you want to start enhancing your productivity, I'll drop a link in the video and the description box below so you can check out Spike for yourself. Alright, so up next we have Pixelflow. I've been using it for a while now and it's really been helpful when it comes to YouTube production. Pixelflow lets me create and edit some quick animations that I use for my YouTube videos, all from my smartphone. You can select from a wide variety of templates for logo animations, text animations, and to be honest, I sometimes have trouble picking out which I want to choose because they all look smooth and nicely made. Pixelflow also offers some animations that are made specifically for YouTube creators like subscribe animations, notification animations, and stuff Stuff like that. They also have different categories for different kinds of channels like gaming videos, food vlogs, and more. You can import your own logos and add a bit of animation to them, and you can even experiment with text-based animations as well as static or moving backgrounds. Pixelflow is of course free to use, but you can opt to go subscription-based, which will unlock more templates, designs, and a couple more features. Moving on, I also make use of the built-in voice recorder on the Pixel 6. It's a pretty simple but really useful app. Now as you can probably tell, I do use scripting in most of my videos so I can keep my thoughts organized and concise. I usually dedicate time to writing scripts, but there are of course random times of the day when I'll get an idea and quickly need to get it integrated into writing. Now the Pixel Recorder app not only records audio of your voice, but it also transcribes it into text in real time. This is really helpful in writing scripts because I can simply copy the text from the app itself and then proceed to edit into whatever document I'm working on. I can also access my recordings and transcripts at recorder.google.com in case I want to view them on my laptop and work from there. I gotta say that this is one of the best pieces of software from Google and it's a really great tool to have on the go. Up next we have TubeBuddy. I've been using TubeBuddy pretty much since I started this channel 
channel. Now you might say that it offers the same functions like YouTube Studio. TubeBuddy does offer a couple more features that make me enjoy using it. For one, it lets you know about what changes you can make to improve your video and your channel performance based on analytics. For example, it'll give you suggestions on how you can use keywords and tags within your video so you can improve SEO for your content. TubeBuddy also ranks these tags and keywords and by looking at the app, I can see whether my video is getting decent search visibility and seeing which of my videos do well does add a lot of motivation and confidence to keep on creating more content. Another nice feature on TubeBuddy is the inclusion of milestones. They're kind of like achievement trophies, and it's nice to be able to see how much your YouTube channel has grown over time. All right, so last but not the least on this video is Render Forest. It's kind of similar in the way to Pixel Flow, but Render Forest lets you work with higher definition graphics for your video editing needs. It's completely online, so you don't need to download any additional software or files aside from the graphics that you want to use for your videos. I've actually used the service, and it does offer a wide variety of templates, animations, and styles for you to choose from. I do like what it offers because it does make your production look more professional and as far as visual styling goes, it has everything you can want from a minimalist intro and outro animation to more dynamic visual presentations. I use it to animate some of this stuff here on my channel and so far I'm really satisfied with the videos that I've been able to make from Render Forest. With that said, you can use the app for free. You can offer monthly subscription plans which will let you export higher definition videos as well as access to more templates. Alright, so hopefully this video was helpful for you guys and if you have more app recommendations and opinions then let us know in the comment section below. The apps I featured here have really helped me out a lot and like I mentioned they help keep Team VRY up and running. Hopefully you'll find them useful as well and we'll most likely do more videos like this in the future. Guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Massive thank you to Spike for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check out all these apps here. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.